Hello and welcome back to another episode of DTS in 10 minutes or less with the Mirage 2000. This is episode 8, which is covering route making with waypoints, offset waypoints, and mark points. After this video, we only have one more video for navigation before moving on to the next section. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. This video will be going over making a route with our navigation control panel, which is called the PCN. We'll cover setting up butts, which are waypoints, bads, which are offset waypoints, and mark points. So let's actually look at the control panel real quick. Alright, so this front portion is your PCN. If you notice we have prep and destination or dest, uh, these are pretty important. So prep is preparation of a waypoint or setting up a waypoint. So say for example in this tutorial we're going to go over waypoint 3. Go prep 03 and enter all the stuff you need to do for it, which we'll go over. Then say you want to fly the uh, waypoint 3, you'll enter dest 03 to navigate to that waypoint. Alright, we're going to go over three things. We're going to go over butts, which are waypoints. The Mirage can start up to 20 of them uh, from 0, 1 to 20, in addition of 0, 0, which represents the Mirage current position. Alright, then we have our bads, which are offset waypoints. So these are additional waypoints in reference to the parent waypoint. So example 0, 1, uh, waypoint 0, 1, you can have an additional waypoint to that uh, waypoint. Uh, so a bad cannot exist unless there's a link to a parent waypoint. So for other, whatever reason, there's no waypoints in the map, and you don't make a waypoint, you can't have a bad. And just like uh, waypoints, you can store up to 20 of these. So bads are commonly used for surface targets or divert airfields. And then finally, we have mark points. Uh, the Mirage will save up to three mark points, which will be placed in waypoint numbers 91, 92, and 93. Uh, once a mark point is created, you cannot edit or delete it, so these are pretty uh, pretty limited to what you can have. Uh, so mark points are commonly used to uh, mark a point of interest, so I pretty much use these if... So I don't use them for points of interest unless it's like a mission, so I would use this if there's a man patch shooting at me in like a very crowded area or like a dense vegetation area so I could locate it and just come back to it or walk someone else onto it. Alright, so let's actually look at the route. Alright, so 0 is us right now, waypoint 1 is Sanaki right here, I think that's Sanaki, then waypoint 2 is going to be a lake. So we're going to make waypoint 3, yeah, Sanaki, I'm good. So Sanaki, waypoint 1, waypoint 2 is right here. Blue circle is going to be uh, waypoint 3, and then this black square is going to be our bad, which is the offset waypoint. Alright, so there's two methods to make uh, a bad. I'm going to show you the easiest one, but I'm going to briefly go over the first method. So the first method would be, so right here is going to be waypoint 3. You would come down here, you would get the distance, so 5.82 nautical miles. You have to convert that to meters, so unless you have your phone on you real quick, you convert that stuff. Then from this point right here, you're going to make a next point, which will be 3 nautical miles, convert that to meters. Once you figure out the conversions, you you're going to enter it uh, opposite direction, so it's not going to be north, it'll be south, and it's not going to be east, it's going to be west. You're going to have to enter that stuff, you're going to have to enter the altitude. It's not fun. So I'd rather just do the easy method, which is the P&O method. So right here will be waypoint 3. Come down here. The distance is, uh, we'll say it's the center of the runway, 651 five, six, and 207 degrees. That's all I need. Done. Super easy. That's what we're going to go with. Alright, so now we're going to make waypoint 3, which is going to be Cabaletti, just to make it easier on us. So coordinates will be 41.55.926, e scene will be 41.52.589, elevation will be 59 feet, not meters. Uh, say for whatever reason you don't want to, you don't have this, so let's say this intersection right here of these power or telephone poles or telephone lines, power lines, whatever, wherever your mouse is pointed, you're gonna. It's gonna be, uh, give you this grid up here. So, say that was a point. You're gonna have that grid. So, 41, 5, 6, 6, 5, 6, and so on, and then elevation 178 feet. All right. So, Cavaletti. We're gonna enter that information now. All right. So, prep 03. That's the waypoint we're gonna use. Blank slate. LG and altitude, longitude and latitude first. So. North, it was 4155, that's right, uh, 926, and enter. Again, if you mess up, 
you would hit EFF. All right, now we're gonna get our east team. So east team was zero, four, one, five, two, five, eight, nine. Correct. Altitude, less the size of the feet. And it was 59 feet. Correct. All right, so now we're gonna go into the offset. So if you guys have a French cockpit, this has gonna say uh, bad, and this has say butts. No, butts, bads, my bad. So if you want to do that method where I show you how to do the conversion, it'll be these two. The simple method, the P&L method, so left side, oop, I messed up. So left side, you can, for offsets, you're going to use the minus, not the plus. So this is going to be distance, which was 651, enter, then degrees, again, you can use minus, which will be 207, zero, enter. All right, everything is good to go. Let's unpause and fly. Let's with that it doesn't really matter, but that's personal preference. All right, so waypoint one, Sanaki. All right, you can see it. So we're going to go to waypoint two now. Go off to the right. We're going to fast forward. So the reason why we're buffering is because we have the big tanks on. All right, so if you don't want to use uh, this method to select waypoints, use this right here as well to toggle. So now, now we got to go left, fast forward. All right, so that's waypoint three, which you can tell right there and right here. So now our offset waypoint is right here. So how are you going to select that? You're going to come down here where it says bad. Once that illuminates, you're going to get navigation information to fly to it. You got your point three freaking G's. And your G's training. All right. All right, now we're going to go over mark points. So let's get out of bad. All right, pause. We're going to use that plant as a area of interest. And pause. Should be kind of close to being over it. Good enough for me. All right, so how this works, you're going to hit mark. And these are both illuminated, so it's going to work. You hit validate. So normally it's going to pop up right here, 0 and 9, uh, 1, since that's our first one. But right now it's not doing it for some reason. I don't know. All right, so if this was flashing, that means you cannot enter it. So either this is not uh, not working or you have too many mark points set. So let's fly away. Wait for a couple seconds. All right, so that's our first mark point. Now we're going to enter destination 9-1. All right, now it's telling us it's almost four miles behind us. Remember, we weren't directly on top of it. But I know where it's at because it's a pretty uh, easy identifiable landmark <laughs> all right thanks for watching that uh, covers this portion of the video see you guys on the next one later